This is Inside Video Review for the 25 games played as part of rounds 20 and 21 of Major League Soccer. I'm Greg Barkey, Pro's Manager of Video Review. 111 different incidents were checked by VARs, resulting in 10 reviews during this time frame. Five for penalty kicks, four for red cards, and one for an offside in the APP leading to a goal. We will begin by looking at four of the penalty kick reviews, starting in Los Angeles versus Colorado, when Jonathan Lewis of Colorado has burst into the penalty area and goes down under a challenge by Rayan Ravelinson. No, 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 corner, corner. If he touched the ball, that's corner. Corner, 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 corner. Damn, he's checking, he's checking. Very light touch. For me, it was enough. Okay, just give us a moment here, Sylvia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He kicks him. For me, it's penalty, yeah. but he's up. Too light for me. Too light. Too light. He kicks his leg. Going down to easy, Tim. The ball doesn't change direction. Yeah. I'm on penalty. I'm not looking at it. Yes. Yes. Silvio. Silvio, this is Tim. I'm going to recommend a review for penalty. No play on the ball. Contact. Tell me when you're at the monitor. Okay, I'm right here. So, Silvio, this is the point of contact here. Uh, six okay. is reaching in with his right leg, makes contact with Lewis's left leg. We'll okay. we'll take it back a little bit and show yeah, you the play. Yeah, take it back a little bit. Play at fifty percent. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, never play the ball number six. I don't have any misconduct. Okay, I have a penalty. Thank you. Thank you. Ravelson had extended his right leg towards the ball, but had failed to reach it, and the contact is on the left leg of Lewis. The foul is clear, and this is a penalty kick. The referee correctly awarded the penalty kick. In Red Bull Arena, a penalty kick was awarded when Liam Fraser of Columbus and Red Bull's Patrick Kalamala challenged for this ball. It'll get checked. It'll get checked. They were both going for the ball. And I know, but, I know, but he comes through. He comes through. JC, JC, talk to me. Check in, check in, check in. Yep. Uh -huh. He's checking it. He's checking it. They both oh, went for it, and he got the ball first. I know, I know. I, I, I see him no, get the foot though, and I, I, and I might, and I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay. Play, yeah, you're probably Chris. right. Up, up. Check it. Okay, we have to check. Yeah. All right, Chris. I'm going to recommend uh, on-field review. All right, perfect. No problem. Player from Columbus. Uh, Columbus player plays the ball first, and it's Red Bull player who's kicking under. Okay, uh, no problem. Do you have that, Kev? You have a, another angle? No, that that's the best angle I can give you. Okay. Uh, you can you can see right there. Yep, no problem. All right. Uh, restart drop ball, yes? Yes, restart will be a drop ball. No problem. Thank you, JC. No problem. To the, uh, to the goalkeeper. Yep. To the penalty area. Fraser was the player who had actually played the ball. Well, it was Klamala who had kicked up into Fraser's leg without making any contact on the ball. The award of a penalty kick was a clear and obvious error, and after seeing the images, the referee correctly rescinded the penalty and restarted with a drop ball. Austin FC appealed for a penalty when Cecilio Dominguez went to ground just inside the penalty area. Oh, oh, oh. Possible penalty. Possible. White has possession. There's no call on the field, so he just stopped the game. Delay, delay, delay. I need to see the point of contact. Where's the high end zone? Go forward, slowly, frame by frame. Okay. No, I need something better Go than this. Go back to the quad, please. Yes. Back, back it up. Back it up. Go forward. Do you see a touch on the ball, Jeff? Does the ball change the High end zone case. I've got a, I've got a PK. Jeff? So he makes contact and is inside the box. Yep. I agree. This is Daniel. We're recommending a review for penalty kick. Okay, we're going to play it for you 50%. Okay, we're going to give you regular speed. Do you want any other view or do you want us to freeze at the point of contact? I'm going with a penalty kick. No misconduct. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Portland's Van Rankin had tripped Dominguez by extending his right leg out towards Dominguez, failing to touch the ball, but making clear contact on Dominguez's left foot, resulting in sufficient contact to bring the attacker down. A correct review to award a penalty to Austin. 
The referee gave a penalty to Real Salt Lake on this play when Colorado defender Daniel Wilson pulled back Krylek by the shoulders in this 78th minute. Hey Drew, Drew. Yeah. Drew, it's Ismir. We're gonna recommend a review for offside prior to the penalty kick, okay? okay. So let us know when you're there, Drew. We're gonna, we're gonna show you the kick point, okay? Okay. Okay, so you have number eight. I do. And his left foot is, uh, is there ahead of play. Yeah, I and we'll sh Then we'll yep. show you, we're going to show you the pull thereafter, but uh, just... Go ahead, roll, roll through. Yep. One more. One more. One more time. Okay, I need you to stop it when the pull happens. Okay. You have him interfering when that pull... You have him already interfering when that pull happens? The holding offense by Wilson was clear. However, Krylak had been in an offside position when the ball was crossed to him. This brings up the question, which happened first, the offside infraction or the holding foul? The offside infraction happened first. Because the holding offense occurred when the player began to challenge for the ball and not before, it was correct to penalize the attacker for the offside position in this case. If the holding had been much earlier, before the ball was in the vicinity of the players, the holding offense would be penalized rather than the offside. A yellow card was shown to San Jose's Nathan for this foul challenge on Minnesota's Bakaya Debase in midfield. Oh, yeah, Fred. Oh, now. Hey, check it, check it, Chappie. Chappie, check it. Hey, Victor, Victor, I have high. That's great. I don't see the contact. I don't see the contact. Right. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Point of contact. Too many bones. Too many. You hear me? Yeah. We're down. Yes, the upper right. Both you and the yes. VAR. I have right. contact low. He comes in yes to the front, but I believe the contact is low. I think the first Perfect. is mitigated as you jump. However, if I'm wrong, okay. we will go to the monitor. I'm gonna give you a short one. Give me, uh, give me fifty percent. Victor, this is Alan. I recommend a review. Can you hear me? Understood. Just let us know when you get there. Okay, I see the point of contact. Go ahead and bring me back to the beginning of the loop. Show me 50%. A little louder. Understood. You want to full speed? Play. This is so obviously number, 50 percent. I can give you full speed. Number 13, red card Nathan. No, well, why like that? We start. Well, we start at midfield, leaving the area. The VR could see that Nathan had lunged into the tackle at speed, going to ground and extending a straight leg with studs exposed, missing the ball and making contact to the right leg of the base, just under the knee. This was a tackle that had speed, intensity, and excessive force, and the manner in which it was committed endangered the safety of the opponent. The referee correctly reversed his original yellow card decision, replacing it with a red card for serious foul play. That's Inside Video Review for rounds 20 and 21. You can find more information on the rest of the reviews from these rounds by reading the definitive angle that can be found on ProReferees.com.